Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how to get self-confidence. So one thing that I want people to know is that self-confidence is something that you build. One thing that's really scary is when you see somebody that's super confident, but not competent. So confidence, again, is something that you build through time. Like, you know, you're not going to start out as a new graduate nurse as completely competent. Over time, you're going to learn the job, you're going to learn how to read things, you're going to learn what needs to be done, what you need to look out for, and then you can become competent. Once you become competent, then you can have confidence. A lot of people come to me very, very, very early on in their career, and they're like, how do I become more confident? Again, confidence should not really be a feeling. It shouldn't be like an aura that you give off. It really should be something that comes from building over time the competency to complete everything with competence. <laughs> So now, when I'm in my specialty, I usually work step down, um, sometimes telemetry, med surge. I feel like I'm fairly competent in that. So if somebody comes to me with an issue, then what I usually do is I rely, I go back to the facts. So thankfully we have computer charting, which documents everything. And so we can look to see exactly, you know, what is going on and what happened and we'll go from there. But I have competence because I know the job very well. And then I have confidence because I pride myself in my work and I do the best that I can. Just for example, the other day I had a patient that said that nobody helped her to the bathroom from nine to three. But I was confident that we had been in the room. We had the hourly rounding sheets. The hourly rounding sheet was up to date, up to time. I had also documented that the patient was forgetful and I also documented that I notified the doctor that the patient seemed a little bit confused which seemed out of her norm so her medications were changed around. So there even though somebody was complaining that I was incompetent I was able to show through proof that I was competent. So again this confidence comes from competency. <laughs> I'm getting a little tongue-tied here are you? <laughs> So let's say since I'm an agency nurse, they float me to different areas. Sometimes I get floated to the intensive care unit. In the intensive care unit, I'm pretty much competent on 95% of the things that we do there. But then there's like 5% that I don't know exactly how to do. So I am not competent on that. So I'm not going to with confidence tell you that I can do it. I usually, you know, tell everybody what I know how to do. And then what I don't know how to do, I get help with. And when they do help me, I usually ask them if they can show me so that I can hopefully become competent and then confident. <laughs> I know a lot of nursing students say like if I was confident, I would pre perform better on exams. But I want you to sort of question that because it's not about confidence. It's about competence. So I found that when I switched the gear and I just put all of that energy into studying instead of forgetting if I was competent or not, then my grades started to improve slowly because I was putting the energy towards just studying and that's it. Another area that I see a lot of nurses that need a lot of help and confidence with is approaching doctors. Before I ever talk to a doctor, I try. Sometimes they catch me off guard and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting to see you. And so I look a little bit incompetent. But most of the time before I call a doctor, I go through the whole patient's chart, which it takes about five minutes, but I go through everything to make sure I only need to call them once if possible. So I have the issue, let's say the, the potassium is a little bit low, which is something that we call about a lot. Then I have that lab. I have another, I have other labs if they might ask. I also look at their medications and see if there's any medications that may have altered that. So when the doctor does call, so when the doctor does call, I'm 95% confident that I have all the information that they need. And if I don't, I know that it's just, a, you know, a, a few quick like clicks away to find the information that they do need. So alright guys, I really hope this video helps you out a lot. I hope that it helps you focus more on competency and preparedness than it does just to, you know, exude this aura of confidence. So alright guys, I can't wait to see you in my next video. I will see you next Monday. I love you so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before 
entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the Dean's List. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.